What's happening YouTube? My perks finally came in. Got some love and hate relationship for the seller, the shipping company, and the perks itself. So let's jump into it right now. First of all, the perks came opened. Um, these bottles were totally wet. Um, there's a stick right here that says damage and handling in the in the postal service. And my box actually came open. This is the Fisher UPS truck tray, and they dropped it off to me like this because the box was open. And it got here a month late. I already a month ago, and it got here a month late. So, whatever. All right, so let's talk about the perks right now. Um, the buyer, these came from eBay. On um, the picture itself from eBay, they look fantastic. They look amazing. But these perks itself, before we get into the actual perks, let's talk about the bottle. The bottle itself um, is beautiful. I love the bottle. Can't go wrong with it. It's hard as heck. See, that's hard as heck. Uh, the cap itself, I love the cap. The bottle is amazing. The normal Corona bottles, I love them. They're pretty decent. I love it. Um, now let's talk about the perks itself. The perks, we have every single perk here from Call of Duty Black Ops, except for two. Two came missing because the box was open. I'm missing Speed Cola and Quick Revive. I am not pleased with that at all. I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to do with that later, that information I just told you. But now let's get into the perks itself before, um, yeah. Uh, I, I just can't believe those two perks never showed up. But anyways, the stickers on these perks, they're atrocious. Um, I paid $80 for this collection on eBay. The stickers are atrocious. Like, they're half ripped off. The printing is a bad job. Um... They could have did a better job with the labels. I mean, my little niece, she's like three years old. She could have done a better job than this, honestly. But, um, yeah. But I didn't pay $80, so why not show it off to you guys? Because you guys are zombie fans like I am. So let's talk about it. First perk, we have the Juggernaut perk. The Juggernaut perk, you guys already know, if you do not have Jug perk when you start up a game, it's two hits. And with that two hits... You go down automatically and the game's over unless if you get revived. Now if you get by the Juggernaut perk, it's five hits and then you go down. But if you have a Juggernaut Perma perk unlock, you guys see my videos from transit mode, then you actually you can actually unlock it in other game modes like um that rise and stuff like that. Juggernaut perma perk unlock. You have it unlocked plus the jug perk is six 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 hits to go down instead of five. Next perk we have up is Electric Cherry. Electric Cherry is one of my favorite perks for the simple fact that hey, it gives me that little extra time when I reload to cause a burst of electric energy around my body, causing the zombies to die around me. Now, the thing about Electric Cherry is a burst of electricity around your form, and when upon reload, it doesn't happen on every reload, it happens on intervals. So, for example, I reload now, no burst, I reload then. The burst of energy comes out, kills the zombies around me that's actually literally in my face. The thing about it is that once you get a high arouse, it doesn't kill them anymore. It just stuns them unless if they're at the point of dying. And you will know that when they're actually losing body parts and stuff like that. Electric Cherry, one of my favorite perks must have on my hand. Now we have Stamina Up. Stamina Up is a beautiful perk for bigger maps like Call of the Dead. I mean, you need Stamina Up for that um, map itself. Basically what it is, lightweight plus marathon on limited run. That's basically what stamina is. Um, yeah, must have on Origins. Must have this perk on Origins in Black Ops 2 Zombies. Because that, that mud is a killer and it will take you down. I still try to go without it, but for some reason I always keep coming back to it. Vulture's Aid is a beautiful, beautiful perk. You can find this on buried buried zombies and call these black ops 2 zombies now the vulture aid does different things first of all the vultures aid gives you the ability to pick up ammo little pockets of ammo and money at the same time by dropping a golden nugget you pick that up games gains you ammo and a little bit of money at the same time when you kill zombies it causes a green mist you can stand in that green mist and you're invincible for a period amount of time zombies can't see you also, with this Vulture's A perk, you can see the mystery box, Perga Cola machines through the wall, and the weapon wall as well. And it does one more thing. A lot of people don't know, but on Origins, sorry, not Origins, on Buried Zombies with the Paralyzer, 
when you pick up that little packet of ammo and you're at the max 115 charged out your paralyzer you have to wait till it cool down but if you pick up that little pack of uh, ammo golden packs a little ammo it actually takes it all the way back down to zero and replenishes it right away without it having to be cooled down vultures aid is an amazing perk if you are unburied now double tap let's talk about double tap really quickly double tap is a must-have perk on your hand when you play zombies. Double tap and Call of Duty Black Ops. What it does, basically just rapid fire. But Call of Duty Black Ops 2 zombies, they became Double Tap 2.0. What Double Tap 2.0 does, it gives you the same ability, rapid fire. Basically shooting bullets very, very fast at a high rate, the highest rate possible for that gun. But 2.0, what it does, Double Tap 2.0, it increases the gun damage times 2. So Double Tap 2.0 is amazing to have. When you are playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies, and that's any map in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies. Now, Mule Kick, <coughs> excuse me, Mule Kick, the Mule Kick perk, a lot of people love this perk because it gives you the ability to have three guns at the same time. Now, if you do the Easter egg on Buried, and you have this Mule Kick perk, what it does, the Rick Defense side of the EE, um, I believe you get to carry four weapons once she does Richter Fitch side of the Easter egg on Buried. Um, if you do the Max side of Buried, the Easter egg, you do not get to have four weapons. Only that Mule Kick perk, Richter Fitch Easter egg, equals four weapons on Buried. Mule Kick perk is a must have perk. Um, I normally like to use it on the Moon map on Call of Duty Black Ops 1 Zombies. Now, the Tombstone perk, I shout right now to Evelyn's Tombstone. Basically, what it does, alright. The transit mode tombstone was first introduced on transit mode in Black Ops 2 Zombies. Basically, when you die, you bleed out, it drops a little tombstone hovering above wherever you died on the map. Now, before they actually did the patch, <coughs> excuse me, before they did the patch when it first came out, um, a person brought you back, you go pick up your tombstone, yes, but you didn't have no, um, you had unlimited time to pick up your tombstone perk. Now, after the patch, you have at least 10 seconds, 15 seconds after respawn, you come back the next round. To go wherever your body wants to pick up your tombstone. And I think it's not fair that they actually put a time limit on it. Um, but basically what it is, once you die, you bleed out. A tombstone appears above your... An actual tombstone appears above your body. Your dead body. And when you pick up that tombstone perk, you come back with all the perks that you died with. And your weapons. Minus the tombstone perk. Tombstone perk is fun to have, but not a lot of people like it. Um, Deathshot Daiquiri. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sick. You guys know this. Um, Deadshot Daiquiri, what it does, uh, two things, it does basically when you aim down sides from the L trigger, if you're an Xbox 360, um, it just straight aim for headshots, headshots all day with Deadshot Daiquiri. Now a lot of people don't know, Deadshot Daiquiri, the actual perk, not the perma perk, but the actual perk, when you have this on your hand, and you have sniper rifles, and you aim in, it has no holds breath. A lot of people do not know that, and if you guys want to try it out. Go to Call of the Dead, Black Ops 1 Zombies, and try out the scavenger with Deadshot Daiquiri. You will see that the whole breath feature will disappear once you have this perk, Deadshot Daiquiri. Next perk we're going to talk about is the PhD Flopper perk, which is a must-have perk. Next to the Juggernaut perk, PhD Flopper, Speed Cola, uh, Electric Cherry is probably a double tap. My first five favorite perks. In that order, we're not in that order, but those are my five for your perks. But PhD Flopper is a must have number two next to Juggernaut Perk because this is also kind of like life. Because what it does, it does three things PhD Flopper, when you hold the grenade, okay. The PhD Flopper perk is different to the PhD Perma Perk unlock on Barry. For example, it does two things except for one thing when you have the actual PhD Flopper perk. And you hold the grenade, you do not go down. You do not die. You can actually use your body like a suicide bomb and kill the zombies around you with a grenade depending on what round you're on. The other thing you do, you dolphin dive off of a platform, taking damage, but you actually don't take the damage. You actually cause a nuclear explosion around your body, killing the zombies around you. And as well, no splash damage with Mustang and Sally, the scavenger, or the Reagan, or the war machine. Any Weapon that gives you splash damage, you do not take any splash damage with PhD Flopper. Again, PhD Flopper is a bus half perk. And the last one we have on my list right here is the Who's Who perk. Basically, it's like Tombstone perk. And instead of someone reviving you and you get a Tombstone above your body, 
The Who's Who perk is a fun perk to play around with because when you go down, you actually come back in a ghost form minus the jug perk and you can actually revive yourself and all the players. And once you revive yourself, you come back with all your perks minus the Who's Who perk and all of your weapons that you went down with. Now, I'm not talking about bleeding down. I'm just talking about actually just hitting the ground. Um, the Who's Who perk, uh, if you guys see my video on Die Rise, you can actually use the Who's Who perk and glitch it out and put... Um, unlimited money in your bank for you and your friends so check out my video if you have not seen that today so basically that's all the perks that we have we have juggernaut electric charity stamina uh vultures a double tap meal kick tombstone deadshot flopper who's who we're missing quick revive and speed caller i did order those in this package for 80 bucks on ebay and it did not come because the box you guys seen were already was already open up uh, and and that basically that's you know life goes like that sometimes. But I do wanna order meal kick. I mean not meal kick, speed cola and quick revive for you guys from a different site. I'm probably going to Etsy and they probably I see some of them actually has labeled in the back of nutritional facts and it says um calories, a thousand zombies, headshots and stuff like that. They're really creative with it. So hopefully I can get something like that for you guys and bring you guys some better perks. But this is my collection from now for my game room. Not gonna show off my game room yet because it's not finished. I'm still in the works of building it up. So if you guys enjoy my video, subscribe and like today if you have not already as President Evil X, Junkernog, continue to bring you, the viewers, the goods. Yes, hello. The door keeps on to press that subscribe button.